everybody. Welcome at What's Cooking with Melissa. So yes, every Wednesday on Viro Tupperware Diama, on my YouTube channel, on my personal profile, and on my pro page, you will see a, a culinary uh, session. Okay, I'm looking for my words. <laughs> so together we'll be cooking something new, different, simple, easy, that anybody can cook in their kitchen. So my name is Melissa. I'm 38 for a few days. Yeah, I'm gonna get 39 in a few days. Sad. <laughs> I'm like seeing my 30s ending. It's like the end of the world. Okay, it's not the end of the world, but I'm getting old. <laughs> Do you guys feel me like when you're get, adding a, a new one year uh, uh, to your age, like you're feeling like I'm getting old. <laughs> I'm not like in my 20s anymore. <laughs> But apparently, the 40s are the best years of your life. So I'm like, I'm not thrilled to get to the 40s, but I'm intrigued to know what is waiting for me in my 40s. Anyhow, I've started Tupperware in October 2019. So it's almost been a four years since I joined Tupperware. And you need to know that I joined because I wanted to purchase Tupperware at a lower cost, okay? There was no business intention, no in income intention. I just wanted to buy it for a cheaper price. <laughs> so tell me in the comments, do you love rebates? Do you love paying uh, your stuff at a lower cost? I'm, I'm careful with my words because I don't like to say cheaper because cheaper is like not quality. And remember that Tupperware is high quality which explains the price, of course. But when you can get it at a lower price and special, that's great. But if you can add another extra uh, rebate on it, that's where I'm aiming for. So if you're wondering, what is the membership? What's the subscription? What's that? Having an account with Tupperware? Well, that's it, okay, you guys? There's no selling oblig obligation. Never uh, joined with the intention of selling. Nobody pushed me. I made the choice, like a big girl. <laughs> to jump the fence and sell. But at the, uh, at the beginning, it's just because I wanted so much. Okay, you guys, you cannot imagine how much I needed to get organized in my kitchen. So now I'm curious, do you have that need too? Would you like to have extra money in your pocket? Not necessarily by selling, but just because you're more organized in your kitchen. You know where your money is going. You're saving your money. You're budget-wise, you're buying what's in special instead of buying it uh, at full price. Hmm? Is it talking to you? Is it speaking to you? So you need to know that I used to have a daycare. So yes, I have my family. Okay, I have my husband. We've been together for almost 19 years now. We have a beautiful 12, almost 13 years old son which eats like three people. <laughs> That's the teenage boy in him. <laughs> Do you have teenagers at home? Do they eat a lot? It's like, I'm, I'm looking at him eating him. I'm like, geez, where do you put everything? You're like, like eating twice as much as me if it's not three times. <laughs> so that's our reality. We had to take daycare. So five to six little ones also. So there was a lot of food that I needed to cook. Okay. So breakfast, dinners, suppers, weekends. So I was always in the kitchen, especially with my family time, because you can understand that when you have kids at home, running around, playing outside, you need to have your focus, like not even 100%, it's like 3000% on the kids. No time to cook while they are up. You can cook when they're sleeping, but you want to leave them sleeping. So you don't want to make too much noise. So it was re-eating in the in microwave and cooking in the evening, in the weekend. So all my spare time that I wanted to spend with my family, I was spending it cooking. So what was used to be something fun, I used to just love cooking and receiving people and making food for everybody. I like, I'm like, a, I'm, a, I'm like a, a younger grandma, if you can like, you know that grandma that always wants to feed you? That Italian grandma? Mange, mange. It's the same thing, okay? I, I want to feed everybody. <laughs> but now that pleasure became a task, an ungrateful, unwanted task, okay? Do you feel like that sometimes? That cooking is like just so 
un inconvenience, just not fun anymore, okay? Because it's too long. You don't want to spend like one hour after working a hard day in your kitchen, then cleaning everything. You want to be, be able to do this really quickly. Uh, I, I feel you. You're, uh, you're, um, there's emotion in your belly. <laughs> so I decided to order from a caterer, okay? And at the time, like three, four, uh, no, five years ago, it was $400 for five meals, uh, five meal a week. There was no leftovers and the menu, it was good. Okay. We did order from different caterer. We tried different ones, but the menu keep was kind of boring. Okay. Yes, it was good the, for, uh, the few first weeks, but then afterwards it was just always the same thing. And we kind of get, get, uh, got fed up with that. Okay. And I thought I was saving time because, Hey, I don't need to cook, but the thing is you need to go get that food. I did have some that order, um, were delivered. Uh, you needed to pay some, you got uh, had to go get them. So, but they, you need to pick it up at their moment that they want. And the delivery was at the time that they were able to deliver. So I was still stuck with what they were imposing me. I didn't have the choice. I, I needed to follow the rules. Okay. So my freedom was like so so, and now I just can't imagine how much it would cost ordering from a caterer. Probably uh, what it cost me four hundred per month would be now easily eight hundred, easily eight hundred. Okay, because with the inflation, the regular inflation plus the purchase of the food that went so high. Okay, I'm curious. Okay, um, your grocery went up of how much money? Okay, can, can you tell me? Do you know? Okay, do you have an idea? Because you need to track your money. Okay, you guys, you need to know where your money is going. Did you realize how much more money you need to put in your grocery to get a decent uh, grocery? Okay, it's. I remember easily that when I purchased for a hundred dollars, my basket was quite full. Now for a hundred dollars, I have that little hand basket instead of the big basket. So that's going to have a huge impact on your, um, on your income, on your budget. Okay. So now explaining everything there, I want you guys, I'm going to give you an assignment and it's easy to do. Okay. I want you guys to take your phone, your computer, wherever you're looking the live uh, from. Okay. And I want you to share the live. Okay. Why I want me to, uh, I want you to share the live. Well, first, my little intro speech will maybe speak to a lot of people. And they say, oh, my God, maybe she can help me out. Okay, because my first mission is to help you out, you guys, to regain control of your kitchen. Because it did a great difference for me. And I want the same for you. Okay, I want you to be able to buy um, that, to, to go to that um holidays with your family, okay? I want you to be able to maybe buy that pool that you want for your family. Maybe you're dreaming about that dress that you want to feel sexy in it, but you can't afford because you don't have money on the side. So all these things are possible when you're organizing the kitchen. So I want you to be able to inspire everybody around you and everybody loves recipes, yeah, guys? <laughs> so make sure that you click on the button share and share it everywhere. So I'm going to make sure that I share it on my VIP group, which I encourage you to join for many, many reasons. There's an auction going on if you want to have some products uh, at the lower cost, or sometimes I um, undo some packages. So sometimes you you love the bowls, but you only want a big one. Well, you can purchase the uh, uh, only the bowl. So if you want to go there, the recipes are going to be there too. There's tips, there's tricks, and I'm working on putting more and more English content in it because it's a bilingual group, but mostly I need your help. Why do I need your help? Well, because it's a community and a community is meaning that it's not just me that needs to post on a group. I want to see what you're cooking. I want to see you using your products, the one that you really love and that makes you excited of cooking in the kitchen. So that's my first question for you guys after you've shared, okay? Make sure that you shared. Tell me if you do have Tupperware at home, which product could you not, not have in your life, okay? Which one is really, really like amazing and you use 
all the time. So I want to take the time to say hello to Dominic. Always to write your comments, say hello in the chat because I can see them. I can chat with you guys. You can ask your question. Even if you're listening to hashtag repay, I will take the time to answer you. Okay. We have Celine, which misses no lies. So soir, Celine, qu'est-ce qu'on cuisine? What are we cooking tonight? So I purchased in special, you guys, okay, we, yes, those beef medallion, okay? So we'll be cooking those beef medallion, and we're going to put some bacon around it, and we're going to make some mac and cheese, homemade mac and cheese to go with. I was like, what do I do? Potatoes, uh, vegetables, and then I add the flash. Natas been asking for, so, for a few days now, Mac and cheese, okay? He hasn't had is it in his head um, craft dinner, but I don't buy craft dinner anymore. I do my own mac and cheese, and it's so easy, okay? You can put, do it with your two fingers and your up your nose, just just to give you an image, okay? No, don't do it because it's not it's not clean. C'est pas propre, <laughs> but just to give you a gist, okay? So Céline, ce soir on fait des médaillons de bœuf entouré de bacon avec du mac and cheese maison. Okay, so of course we're gonna start with the mac and cheese because it's so easy to do. Okay, so 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 easy. So first we're gonna use the pressure cooker, really easy peasy. This is what will allow you to cook really quickly in the the microwave with pressure. Okay, you know that pressure cooker that you usually put on the stove and it's really creepy because it whistles on the top. Okay, <laughs> the mix I mean more wheat. <laughs> It's scary. You're you're like, is it going to explode? And you hear things that say it's it, it, it that it did explode at your friend's house, your mom's house, your grandma's house. This is totally safe. And 30 minutes, even sometimes less in the microwave, it's done. You know, the pressure cooker needs to whistle for a long time on your stove. Okay. So 30 minutes, even sometimes less. And it's done. in fact, the mac and cheese will take 10 minutes, you guys. 10 minutes. Oh my God, okay? So you're gonna see it's really easy. First, you need to choose your pasta. So now I realize I forgot to print my recipe, so I'm gonna go get it. It's so easy on the web to find your mac and cheese recipe. Here we go, mac and cheese. Here we go. So you basically can find anything on your website just want to find it so basically it's pasta uh, broth or water and cheese you can, you can put the kind of cheese you want uh, where's my mac and cheese my regular mac and cheese it's not it's not complicated you guys <gasps> mac and cheese I'm gonna remove recipe there you go Mm -hmm. I did it not too far ago, so I should have it not too far. Doo -doo -doo. Ah, there it is. Okay, just want to make sure it's two cup and a half and two cup of, of broth. Okay, so I just want to make sure of the measurements because I don't want to miss something out. Okay, so two cups and a half of uh, well, they say macaroni, but I'm using those little uh, shells. I love these ones. Uh, it remembers, it makes, it's a souvenir when I was a little one. Okay, my mom used to make my, the mac and cheese with these ones. One cup. Two cup. I'm just gonna sw uh, swipe from the other to see your comments. Oui, c'est vraiment bon, ça, Céline. T'en fais-tu du mac and cheese des fois? Okay, so you, do you guys make some mac and cheese once in a while? Easy, easy. And then what's your, it's fun is you can add any vegetables that you want. I know what's popular is adding maybe some sausages, bacon, but you can add some broccoli. You can add some um, spinach. So it's really, really fun. You can add whatever you want. Okay. Toi, qu'est-ce que tu mettrais dedans, Dominique? In your mac and cheese. So two and a half. Two and a half. Like so. So I keep my... 
uh, pasta in my modular made to make sure that my product produce stay fresh. Okay, because even if it's dry food, the humid food, the humidity of the house, especially in the summer, okay, will go. It will seep in my ingredients and it will it will turn bad. Okay. So these modular mates are perfect. It's still tight, okay, with the double track system, like so. And you will make sure that what's inside will stay dry. Uh, if it's like uh, brown sugar, it's gonna stay uh, sandy, like a old flocony, every perfect. Cookies, if they are supposed to be crispy, they're gonna be, if they're supposed to be soft and moist, they're gonna stay soft and moist. And you need to know that I have a really small pantry but with the modular mate, I'm able to maximize my the space and be able to have a lot of stuff, even if I have a small one, okay? Now, I'm not happy about myself. I forgot to take out some broth from the fr freezer, okay? What I have left of broth is this, and I will need it for my sauce that I want to do for my meat. So I need to use regular water with my powder uh, chicken broth. Okay. I do have some why because sometimes I'm going to make some dry mixes. This will help me out save a lot of time in the kitchen. Okay. And this is one thing we learn, especially at the Diama. Okay. If you're wondering which organization of Tupperware I am from, I am from Le Diama, um, owned by Maria Mariano and Mohamed Mikalash, two amazing person. Uh, it's a community that you really feel like you belong to. Okay. You, you cannot imagine the growth that I had in these four past years. Um, making a life there with you guys, even if I'm not seeing you, it was really something for me. Okay, I'm start and I started uh, during COVID. I'm somebody that used to make uh, some orals at school, really stressed out, getting uh, all reddish air because I was too stressed, holding the chair of the teacher until my fingers were marking the, the chair, I was really anxious and scared. It was the same thing when I started doing live. Now I'm still anxious because I still wanna make it to a, be able to deliver my message to you guys. I wanna be able to change your life for the better. I wanna make sure that I bring out good tips to, to you guys, that you enjoy your time because you, I have a silly side too. But this is old stress that's still there, but I'm able to manage it, to control it. And that's because I'm working a lot on myself uh, with La Communauté de Diama. So that's really amazing. Free classes, some seminars that you, you do pay, but it's like in, insignificant. It's so small amounts that it's like, if, for example, next week we have the leaders meeting, $20 to attend. If you would take a class for the leader, uh, uh, with something similar, it would cost you a thousand dollars on the web, just to give you an idea. So it's a big community of sharing, giving a lot, receiving a lot. It just, if you just want to have some positivity in your life, Lady Yama is the place to be. Okay, either if it's you, you just want to purchase for saving on your Tupperware, or if you want to develop your business, it's open to everybody. Okay, so we're gonna use my powder one. Okay, which I buy in bulk at Bulk Barn. Did you know, where are my spoons? Did you know that you can actually bring your modular mates to the Bulk Barn and get them filled in? Yeah, so you get a rebate on, uh, on top of that. Of course, you need to bring your container clean and empty, but hey, you get a rebate just because you're bringing your Tupperware and to get them filled, that's awesome <laughs> so here you go i only put one um tablespoon in it there we go and we're gonna add some water which is just gonna make sure two cups two cups okay you're gonna okay cinnamon va five good 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 tu manges pas de macaroni au fromage j'ai la misère à croire ça donne seriously sérieusement t'en manges pas that's murder it's possible that you don't eat some Okay, it's not all the tastes are in the world. If it's not the good on the exist. Here you go. And I'm just gonna make sure that I mix so my powder is in my water. Here you go. 
and it's gonna go 10 minutes in the microwave as simple as that okay so you see i aligned both arrows there turn so it's my first lock second lock and what's gonna go is the pressure is gonna build in that's why it's gonna cook faster and the um, excess steam and pressure will come out from those two little uh, silicone holes old holes take thirty through okay holes <laughs> so this one and this one is as a little yellow pin that will go up and you only want to open your pressure cooker once the little yellow pin is down resting on your cover if it's up it's there's too much pressure still being building in up so you want to make sure that it you let it sit and it goes down before opening it so we're going to put it 10 minutes okay and one thing you need to know is when you're using the pressure cooker you need to know and use some liquid okay you cannot just put some uh, things like that in it without any water it's gonna burn okay there is a high temperature getting created in that it needs some water and the water is going to stay in there. So it's it's like a mijoteuse, pressure cooker, but um, better and faster. We like so. Okay. Ah, ben, c'est bien correct. Um, you are allowed to not like mac and cheese. Okay. <laughs> Ça se peut très bien. <laughs> okay, here you go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to prepare our meat. And I wanted to cook them in my micro grill, which I want to make sure that I take one of them out. Because yes, we have now two micro grills. So happy to have my account because I was able to purchase my second one totally free because I passed a big order and I was able to get some hostess credit and get it for free. If it's free, it's for me, okay? So I was really happy about that. So how it works, yes, there's metal, but it goes in the microwave even so. You're gonna have the plate of the bottom and the plate of the top and going, these are the ones that are going to get uh, hot, okay, from the, uh, the waves. And they're gonna grill on top and beneath. So that's like the mini barbecue of your household, okay? So in the winter, if you uh, don't wanna use your barbecue because it's a, uh, such a hassle okay imagine you want to use your barbecue in midwinter you need to put your boots put your coat get the barbecue started then you're coming in getting your coat off taking off your boots then you need to put lower the temperature okay and bring your food over so you need to put your boots up once again put your coat back put it on the barbecue come back in take off your coat and your boots once again and then you need to go back and forth like that uh, a few times to make sure that your food is good. And once it's done, you need to clean it up. What an hustle! No! <laughs> Use the micro grill a few minutes. You, you know, a chicken breast is uh, six minutes in the micro grill. It's going to get crispy and golden on top. Still moist. Melts in the mouth. It's amazing. You can grill meat, but you can do dessert too. We did some giant cookies. We did, did some brownies. You can make some cheesecake, uh, crumbles. You can uh, make some uh, gratin dauphinois. You need, the, you know, those potatoes with cheese and everything. Mmm, that's good. Omelets. There are so many things. Just grill so your your vegetables, your potatoes. Perfect, perfect. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. Just for the grilled cheese, it's just amazing. Okay. So this is what we're going to use. And of course, we're going to put some bacon around our meat. So my meat was in my freezer um, to make sure that I was able to preserve them. Bought them in special. Here you go. So, go. I'm going to open the bacon container. Bacon, bacon. Okay. Isn't it bacon expensive? Hey, the bacon, it rends tellement cher, c'est fou. Okay, it's incredible. So what I do is I wait that it comes in special, and now I buy a lot. And when I say a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to take my meat. I'm going to remove the little cord rope. Anyhow, I'm going to take my bacon stripe, strip, and I'm going to put it all over it. 
Like, so, oh my God, it's going to be so yummy. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap it up and put it in my microgram. I'm going to go with the other piece. So I won't be able to put all six pieces in it, but I'll be able at least to put four, okay? And I'll be able to grill the two other ones afterwards. Here we go. Another one. I'm going to use the small one. Here we go. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Here you go. Here you go. Woo! So who can see themselves doing this? So easy. It's a nice way of using your bacon too. Instead of just using them for your breakfast. There you go. Perfect. Bacon beef, tu me fais souffrir de cuisiner ça, maman, je dois me coucher. <laughs> so sorry, Dom. <laughs> because Dom needs to go to bed early because he works really early. So yeah, I'm sorry, Dom. Okay? Tu peux pas faire des beaux rides. So you sleep well. Think about beef and bacon. <laughs> Here you go. So I'm just going to clean my hands, remove the bacon fat. Okay? And what I'm going to do is kind of going to spread some seasoning on top, so I should have some uh, steak mix. Yes, yeah, steak mix. Here we go. So we're gonna mix and just on top like so. It's gonna be amazing, you guys. Really, really amazing. Here we go. And depending on the cooking I want, so you see, I have two ways I can put the lid on. I can put it, uh, uh, in French, we would say position cocotte, okay? So that your cover doesn't squish what's underneath. So, <laughs> so if you're doing like, for example, an omelette, you don't want it, to, you don't want your cover to go into your eggs and get over, uh, and have your eggs go overboard. So you need it to put it like so. But if you do a 90 degrees, your lid is going to go at the bottom and sit on your meat. And that's the way you're gonna get it the grilled. Um, feeling. I'm just going to put it aside at the moment uh, because we're going to go to the other step. So the other step, I could use something to go in the microwave, but um, since I have my mac and cheese going on and I'm going to have my meat going on, I love using my pans too, okay? Yeah, I don't cook as often on my stove, but I have an induction stove, which allows me to cook on my island, which is a seven-foot island. I'm really happy. We are the ones that build it. We made it homemade. <laughs> we just use um, uh, a cabinet underneath where I can put some Tupperwares. So currently, I have my tools, like with my uh, master grader and things like that. I have a lot of freezer mates. One thing, you guys, if you have a... If, you wife, if your wife buys a lot of Tupperware and you see there's like fridge mark, modular mates or uh, freezer mates in, the, uh, in your cupboards laying down around, that means because you're due for a grocery, okay? I, like, I have like, I think there's like 20 freezer mates at, at the moment. That means that my freezers are quite empty. <laughs> so I need to be cooking and buying that meat. So yeah, I'm gonna fill it. I have some crystal ways and things like that. So this is really my workplace where I enjoy cooking. Yes, 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 I know I'm coming, I'm coming. So we wanna make sure that we make our sauce for meat, okay? So, oh, I think my pen is in, in there. Here you go. I'm just gonna dry it. So I'm gonna use my Tupperware pan which goes on my induction stove, which can go on my regular stove, my um, um, my gas stove, can even go in the oven, you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to start it once again. Mode. Here we go. Okay, so it's ready. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chop some onions because we're going to start with the onion. Okay, so basically I'm going to make a mustard sauce. Okay, to drizzle on top of my meat, okay? It's gonna be delicious, okay? So first thing I'm doing is I'm removing the peel of my onion, cutting it in two, 
and I want some really small pieces, but I won't be cutting it, cutting it by hand, okay, with my knife. My knife only is used to cut it in two. We're going to go and use one of my favorite tools. Ta-da! Okay, it's my, our mini chopper, which you can get, okay? Tell me in the comments which price would you pay, okay? I'm pretty, oh, I almost really know the answer, but anyhow. Look at that. The chopper by itself is $80 for a regular client customer, okay? It's expensive for a little one like that, but it's so useful, okay? You're going to see we're going to chop onions like, boom, like that, okay? But I don't want you to pay $86. If I told you that you're paying $59, all included, and you're getting this, and the bowl, and the measure cups, and the measuring spoon, and the spatula. Oh my God, that's the deal, you guys, okay? That's awesome. I, in fact, I have three people today that took it that are really happy, and when you're taking it, you get your account, which allows you to save 25% on all your products. So you see, oh my God, she got the pen. Oh my God, she got the knife. She got the scissors. She got the modular mate. She got the freezer mate. She got the frizz. She spent so many much money. Yes, I did. I like to say that it's an investment, but did I pay full price? No, 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 my friend, because I have my membership and I was able to save 25% on all my purchases. And when you're wise, you're going to wait when it's in special, like the Fridge Mart right now, and you'll be able to buy them with an extra rebate on top. Oh, that's exciting. So now you're wondering, does it really work? Let's see. Let's chop that onion, okay? I don't want to be crying all day long, okay? One onion, chopping right now. And it's done, you guys. I can bet you, you would still be cutting your onion. Look at that, already chopped. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour some oil, not because it's gonna stick, but just to give it a little golden color. It's always better with olive oil anyways. <laughs> I'm going to pour my onion with the spatula. Remember, it comes with your kit. And if you're saying, well, now I already have a spatula at home. I don't need the spatula on your kit. Come on, you guys. You need, what, five, six, seven, eight spatula? <laughs> I should check how many spatulas Maria have at her house. She must have a, tw a 20, okay? You don't want to always be cleaning the same one, okay? You want to save time, and if you can put everything in the microwave, well, uh, not the microwave, but in the oven, not the oven, in the washing machine, <laughs> Wash, the dishwasher, I'll, be, I'll get to it, I get to it. So you see, only half of it is perfect, okay? So I'll be able to use this one another day, okay? I can use put it in a fridge mart at the moment. So I'm going to quickly cook my onions give them a little golden color which is coming really fast amazing okay just want to make sure that i have everything uh yeah i need some garlic so this is all pre-cut garlic with the ch little chopper here you go in oil so i put some olive oil to keep it here you go perfect Oh, we love that. Okay. And then we're going to add, yeah, and afterwards it's our uh, bouillon, our mustard, and or our cream, and it's going to be perfect. I don't have cream anymore, so I'm going to add some um, uh, flour and milk instead, so it's get, gonna get thicker. So I'm just gonna lower the temperature because it's really cooking quickly, okay? We're gonna pour three quarter of a cup of broth. That's my homemade broth. So see, I'm using my measuring cups that came with my kit. I have three sets, in fact. Just wanna make sure it's three quarter. Yeah, three quarter. Here you go, three quarter, like so. I still have some left. Perfect. I'm gonna go in the uh, fridge. So this is a broth that I made homemade. 
with the uh, bones of my chicken, the leftovers, peels of my onions, my carrots, my celery, celery leaves and things like that. I all keep that and when I do a broth, I put this all together and add water. It doesn't cost a thing to make some ch uh, chicken broth. Same thing for a vegetable broth. Okay, so I'm gonna add some flour to thicken everything. Flour here. There we go. Now, since this is wet, I'm gonna use another spoon. Another spoon. Okay, here we go. And I'm gonna add it to it, and I'll be make sure to whisk everything together so I don't have clumps of flour, okay? So I'm gonna use my whisk. It's in plastic, so it won't damage the bottom of my pan, okay? You wanna use some plastic if, um, uh, utensils to make sure that you keep your uh, pans and pots uh, without the, the anti-adhesive uh, break broken because you know that if you scratch your uh, anti-adhesive, uh, you'll have a hard time unsticking your stuff from your pan. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, so this is simmering. I'm gonna add my mustard. So that's my fancy old mustard. Here you go. I'm gonna go, because it's a, a mustard uh, sauce. Here you go. And we're gonna add our milk. So like I was saying, usually it's some cream. You're gonna get a creamier texture. I don't have some. Will I go to the grocery store and one and say, oh my God, I don't have some cream. I need to buy some of the grocery store. What's going to happen is I'm going to go to the grocery store, come back with a hundred dollars or more basket. No, no, no. You know, when you're entering for one thing, you're never coming out with only that. So I need half a cup, half a cup of milk. Here you go. So, whoa, it's a brand new, <laughs> half a cup. So I'm taking another measuring cup. You go and I'm gonna add woo, half a cup here you go and now I'm gonna let it simmer so it gets thicker and add that creamy texture okay so now my mac and cheese should be ready okay if this stuff quite a while ago I'm gonna put my meat in okay I'm gonna start with a six minute Okay, I'm gonna put these away, okay? Because I wanna keep my environment clean. It's always easier to work when you have a clean environment, okay? So I'm gonna put this away, this away, uh, this there, like so, okay. So I'm gonna make sure that I keep an eye on this one. So I'll be double tasking. Okay, I want to make sure that I don't do a, I don't miss anything. Here we go. Can I get the temperature higher? Here we go. Here we go. And I'm gonna let it simmer. Fortunately, I did put enough of um of uh, flour. Okay, so we're gonna open. I might need to add more flour. Here you go. So what's really amazing about that is, look at that. My pasta are perfect. I'm going to use another. Oh, I'm going to use that, okay? And there's no more liquid in it, okay? All the liquid, the water, the broth was absorbed by my pasta. They are just amazing, al dente, perfect, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to season them. Salt and pepper, salt, pepper, just gonna stir this, here you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here you go. I might need to add more. Yeah. Some pepper, and now we're gonna add some cheese. What you could do is add some regular cheese, uh, mozzarella, cheddar, gouda, uh, Swiss cheese, and add some milk. What I have in hand, it's what brings me to be a little bit nostalgic 
Okay, it's not that good for the elf, okay? But sometimes we can cheat a little bit, okay? I'm gonna use some Velveeta, okay? Do you know that cheese? This is the cheese that my mom used to use for her, the mac and cheese, okay? She was um, using the Kraft Dinner, but the Vel Velveeta brand. And that brings so much good memories, okay? So I'm gonna use this one instead of using the little powdery one, okay? So yeah, some, once in a while we do something not not good, but it's not what I recommend usually. Okay, usually I would recommend fresh cheese, <laughs> fresh real cheese. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut it in pieces like so. Okay, okay, is it enough? Yeah, it should be enough. There we go, and I'm gonna mix. And what is going, it's going to happen is I'm going to add a little bit of milk and I'll put it back in the microwave just a little bit, just that the Velveeta melts. Because even with just the heat of my um, pasta, it won't melt. Real cheese will melt really quickly and easily. Here we go. So it's coming up. It's coming up. There you go. It's getting thicker. Here we go. Here we go. Smells good. Smells really good. So it smells that little mustard. So I'm gonna add some milk. Here we go. I'm gonna put it back just a few minutes, one or two minutes, just to make sure that everything is melted. But like I was saying, if you're re using some regular cheese, shredded cheese. You won't even have to do that. It's going to melt by itself. So here we go. So we're almost done. Can you see yourself doing that? It's not that complicated, okay? So here we go. And your mac and cheese, you could have done it just your mac and cheese, adding some vegetables. Or what we could have done is use our stack cooker instead of doing our meat and doing some potatoes beneath it. So yeah, it's getting thicker. I don't think I'm gonna need to add some flour. Oh, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna call her back. It's my mo mother-in-law. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna call her back in a few seconds. That is perfectly done. We're gonna take a look at her meat. Here we go, okay. And meanwhile, I'm gonna put this a few minutes. Here we go. So let's take a peek on how good. Oh, it's coming up. It's not done done, but it's coming up. You see, um, one thing that I can suggest to you guys to fasten up the the, the process is to preheat your micro grill, meaning that you're gonna put it five minutes in the micro microwave um, with your cover on up, not at the bottom so that your plates are going to get hot before. So I should have done this before, but we add the, um, the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the, pa the, 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 the pressure cooker in it. But it's going to still go a few minutes, maybe two, three minutes more, and everything is going to be perfectly cooked. Now look at that sauce, okay? We're going, getting our mustard sauce. It's gonna get, th get thicker as it gets colder, a little bit uh, temperature, um, uh, eat and we are going to have our mac and cheese, which should be ready in a few seconds. Okay, if I put it only one minute, usually it should be enough. Yeah, my cheese is getting melting. Here you go. So I can put it a little bit more so it melts. So here you go. But you see, it's getting mixed. So my cheese is getting melt, is melting. So yeah, that's the little counter side of your Velveeta, okay? What I could have done, and that would be another way, I'm gonna show you guys, you have so many options, you guys, okay? These measuring cups are really amazing. They are made of the same plastic of the stack cooker, which allows you to put them in the microwave. You can use them separately together with a cover. So I could have put, my um, Velveeta in it, all by itself, put it in the microwave, 
melt it and just add it, okay? But here you go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to finish the process. We have a few minutes left, not too hard. And now if you're curious, you say, Melissa, I want the recipe for that sauce. Or Melissa, I want the recipe for the mac and cheese. Melissa, I want to see your products that you have. I want you. I have. I want to have some more information. Click on the link, link above. Join this Bison Minister Club, my VIP group. You're gonna get all this information and so much more. Always feel free to reach out to me. I'm I'm doing this full time, you guys. So I am there to for to answer your questions, to just brighten up your day. And of course, if you want to take your membership, I'm looking to. I don't have it updated. But I'm looking to beat Edit. Edit and I are in the same team, and we decided to challenge each other, okay? We want to know who's the first one that's going to get their five new members, okay? So I currently have three, Edit has two. So I need at least minimum two more uh, person that will join Tupperware to get some rebate on their purchases or to sell it's up to you, no pressure, there's no obligation, but I'm looking for two lucky person to join my team and enjoy a whole year of 25% rebate on their purchases. So it might be you, okay? You want your little chopper? You wanna save on your purchases? Click on the unroll link and help me beat edit, okay? <laughs> we wanna beat edit, we wanna beat edit. <laughs> so here you go, you guys. Hope you enjoyed tonight's What's Cooking with Melissa. Feel free to ask me any question and hope to see you guys on my VIP group. Merci Dominique d'avoir été avec moi. Thank you Céline to be uh, d'être avec moi also. It's always a pleasure and we're going to see each other tomorrow for a cooking session in French. <laughs> now I'm going up, jumping in, seven o'clock. It's our English meeting. Yes, tonight I'll be assisting to the English meeting because tomorrow we have a show with Nata. It's his last year in primary school, sixth grade last year musical show graduation it's going to be exciting tomorrow so yeah i'm with the english community tonight Woohoo! <laughs>